In this video, we're going to discuss the parts I'm going to paint, the reason why I'm painting those, and the change of plan as far as painting all the chrome. So the paint booth is nothing but plastic, half inch PCV pipe going across to the rails on the garage door. So that holds up this side. I put duct tape on the plastic and then some hooks to hold it up. This setup is temporary and it's easy to put up and take down. Now, I've already started painting some stuff in here. You can see these pieces have been painted. So, but this is it right here. This is the uh, whole paint booth. So the plastic goes around, hangs off the railing for the garage door, goes all the way around and then with it. So it's three-sided and then plastic on the floor. This is my exhaust fan right here. I just put a simple AC filter on the back. These are cheap enough. And it'll catch most of the paint. As you can see, it's been catching quite a bit of paint. So I simply open the door, stick this under there, and that's my exhaust fan. And it actually works pretty good. That way the door's not open all the way up, and uh, I don't get a whole lot of dust and stuff coming in here. So what I've been doing now is painting some of the hardware. I'm going to paint it all black. That way it matches everything. Now, the change of plan, let me tell you what that is. So I dropped off everything at the powder coat place it's in the next city over so it was about a half hour drive but i think in the long run it's going to be worth it i saw some of the work he's done he does a lot of motorcycle stuff and a lot of other stuff the stuff he showed me was just awesome and the colors there's a ton of colors to pick from when it comes to powder coating the only thing i'm going to spray paint is stuff that i can't get powder coated like the front fender like that's all plastic you can't powder coat that. He told me the furnaces are running at about 500 degrees. So it would just melt. The only thing they can do is stuff that's like steel or aluminum. So I've already done a few pieces. The fender light. I did the mirrors. I did the front turn signal lights because I don't see a way to disconnect this, the wiring, from here. These are the plastic speaker covers. These are easy to do because they're plastic and the chrome is not that hard to sand so using the scotch pad i'll be able to just scuff this up and uh get it ready to go just gonna wipe down like i did all the parts with some lacquer thinner just to make sure that these are clean and there's nothing on them so the paint sticks to it Plastic around the fan acts like a pipe. It's just a cheap way of getting that under the door so the door doesn't have to be open that high. When you're spraying 2K paint, or actually any paint, you should wear a respirator, especially 2K. It's got real bad chemicals in there. You don't want to breathe the stuff in. You really don't. Harbor Freight sells decent respirators for like 30 bucks. I should be one to talk, because in the past I've done spray painting outside and I haven't worn a respirator, but no more. We're gonna give it about 15 minutes to dry, and then I'll give it a second coat. On these pots, I primed them first with the K2 primer, then I did the black gloss over it. I didn't do that to the hardware because I don't want to add too much paint because then I'm going to run into problems with getting sockets and stuff onto those bolts. So I'm only doing the K2 black on the hardware. It should, it should stand up very well. The K2 pretty much sticks to anything. So I just don't want to add too much to the, to the nuts and the bolts but I want them to be black. Okay, so these pots have been sprayed. Two coats on everything. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna give these pieces two days to dry, and then I'll come back, like I said, I'll hit it up with the green scotch pad, number zero, and then we'll, I'll clear coat these pieces. As of right now, I'm not in a hurry because I'm looking at a three week turnaround for the uh, pots from the, the Powder Pro place. On the next video, we'll go ahead and uh,
take off some more stuff like the uh the rest of the chrome pieces that i want to get blacked out so when i pick up those other pieces i can drop these off that's it for today if you want the next video click top right hand corner if it's not there i'll get it up there as soon as i can you all take care god bless and ride safe